All right, and with that, let's jump into the running backs because, guys, we started with brutal injury news to the wide receiver with Justin Jefferson. We start the running backs with more brutal injury news. Devon A. Chan will miss multiple weeks with a knee injury. He's going to get another opinion today to determine if this is an IR stint. But the bottom line here is Matthew, for one of the most exciting rookies in all the NFL and one of the most exciting offenses, it's a big speed bump in the middle of the road. Why can't point. we have nice things? Nothing. We were nice. so, like, it's been such a bad year in so many different ways, but we're like, oh, but at least we have Miami. Yeah. Miami's fun. They're so fun to watch. What a pleasure to watch this offense and what they're doing. And then, yeah. then Devon Achan um, injured. So we'll see. Could be placed on the hour. We will see. Just. Just watch this. Look how beautiful this is. Look at him just running back. And look at, look at these giants just like they gave up, you know, with 20. Because they're like, we're not catching this kid. We're not catching him. The way that he gets to the outside and makes McKinney look like he's I basically I know. Yeah. me. Uh, unbelievable. Looks like he's just playing a different sport. And he kind of was playing a different sport because no one averages 12 yards per carry in the no. NFL, which is what A-Town has done to this point. Uh, yeah, so Jeff Wilson becomes the pickup. Clearly here, I think, and Raheem most that you're already starting him, but he will rise in importance as well. His agent, Drew Rosenhaus, uh, says that Wilson will be activated off the IR. The 21-day practice window will open since 2020. When he gets double-digit touches, he's averaging 14.9 fantasy points per game. Jeff Wilson Jr. is. We'd expect I'll have Mostert ranked ahead of him if Wilson's active for this game. You certainly want him because whether he plays this week against Carolina or not, the fact is, is that he's going to be part of this backfield, especially if A-Chan is going to miss multiple weeks, which it sounds like he will. He might miss up to four, if not more. Also for deeper leagues, Savon Achman, he's had double-digit fantasy points in all three career games where he's gotten double-digit touches. If, if we don't know where Wilson is yet in his rehab, maybe he's on the field for this week, but it might be like, it might still be a couple of games. You know, he starts practicing and ramping up. So Ahmed would be in line to be the backup to Mostert. And again, given how they're blowing people out yep. and they're playing the Panthers this week, like, don't be surprised if Savan Ahmed gets 15 touches in the second half of this game. You know, I mean, right. like just, yep. well, especially by the way, with A-Chan hurt, they're going to want to be more, you know, as soon as the game's out of hand, they're going to want to put Mostert on the bench. They're not going to want to risk him. Right? Yeah, and Wilson's a guy who can win you weeks because there is a chance just between his own rise in importance. Because, I mean, last season on Miami, he had four games with 13-plus carries. Mm -hmm. He had a game with seven targets. He gets utilized. And also, Raheem Mostert gets hurt every season, basically. Yeah. And they don't want to do. yeah, yeah. And they don't want to give him 17 carries a game because of that. So there are going to be weeks where Jeff Wilson could be the lead running back in the best offense in football. I mean, he's a mustache right now. Is it available yes. in 74% of leagues is yeah. absolutely I would, I would say, by the way, of we, we normally just do it by position, but of all the player, he's the number one priority ad for me across all positions. I'd rather him than any of the wide receivers. I'd rather him than any of the tight ends or quarterbacks we're talking about. Because, right, there's a scenario where he's a league winner for you. Like, there's also a scenario where Devon Achan comes back in three weeks and Jeff Wilson is the third, you know, is this, you know, third guy in the depth chart. But, like, there's a non-zero chance that Jeff Wilson Jr. takes over this backfield due to potential injury and just performance. Yeah, there are probably going to be some leagues where Jordan Addison is still available. We probably still take Jordan Addison over Jeff Wilson. Yeah. But yeah, outside of that, yeah, Wilson's the guy. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com. And I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched. Or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.